All right, for those who follow me, I have picked up an IS500 launch edition. I don't think I'm gonna do any videos of this car reviews like other people are doing because you can watch out on any other video. What you guys are gonna see on my channel is me modding, modifying it. I will point out some differences that I seen compared to my last IS. I've already done some mods in here, so don't pay much too much attention. Uh, the LED lights. I'll make another video on that. But the one I got is right here. Yeah, number 106 of launch edition. Um, the car is pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with it. Power is very good compared to IS350 motor. I don't think I'm going to do much to the engine other than just exhaust and intake. Uh, I don't feel like I even need a supercharger. All the crazy shit. Um, let's see. It's kind of hard to see. Let me try to turn on this light. Oh, no, it's not. I guess I have the battery disconnected. Okay. The, oh. So this wood trim, this ash wood, they call it. I actually did not like it at all initially when I heard about it coming with the car but I'm actually grown kind of fond of it so there's ashwood here here uh, I think that's the only place the touch screen is amazing compared to the old one I, I still catch myself going down for this thing though so it's a good combination of using this and that the reason why I don't really want to touch that is um, I don't want to put too many fingerprints I actually have a bike that matches my car now. Or my bike matches my car. The opposite. I had the bike already. Okay. Let's see. What else about this car? This black spoiler. I can't open it. Don't mind that. You can check that out in a different video. So what is interesting to me is this piece kind of like hides this uh, rain gutter type thing for the trunk. I don't recall the last car having this. This is more like a GS status. I recall my dad's GS had something similar to that. That's something I noticed. yeah stick around stay tuned for the mods coming for this car thanks for watching